Good morning. I am Pema Tongton Lipchang. I have graduated from Banasthali University and MA in Sociology from IGNU. My professional qualifications are 6 months foundation course in computer from CC City Gangtok, certificate in primary education from IGNU, 6 months foundation course in inclusive education from NEHU and 2 years diploma in elementary education from IGNU. I had been working as BRD since 1st June 2002 and got the promotion as HM in 2017. I live in Shibgir, North Sikkim. Apart from the large history of Sikkim, is abundant in its flora and fauna with magnificent mountains, hills, rivers and variety of animals. History lies in the unknown places of our world, like the small village in North Sikkim, Shibgir. The Lord Guru Padmasambhava was preaching the beliefs and practices of Buddhism across Asia. That time when he had reached the village, according to the tales told by old people, the village was endowed with evil creatures. Therefore, he had to battle against these creatures and he killed the satan with his dagger into pieces. The word ship comes from this story which means pieces. The place Ger was protected by deity Samnangyan and his wife Namyangyan. Ger gets its name from the Bengals worn by his wife Namyangyan. I'm Achim in Government Primary School, Shibgir, North Sikkim. 30 students are enrolled in this school. This school was established in 1954 during the period of Paldin Thandup Namgil, who was the last king of Sikkim, late Sri Chalnam Seringlipcha and late Lama Sir were the first two teachers who had started to teach in this school. Further, I want to include about one renowned person, Nyukung Granny Padmashri Chirinki Pulipcha, who is Amini English from Cambridge University, is the daughter of first teacher, late Chalnam Chiringlipcha. She has sacrificed her life for the betterment of children from all corners of Sikkim. She took the role of mother for every suffering children. She has been called Nyukung, Granny, lovingly by all. Now the problem I face in school. It seems that the children have problem with the subject maths in my school. I think the reason is with the language because they are used to in their native languages like Lipcha Bhutia Nepali. And secondly, I face difficulty with the students who are the first generation learner. We have been given interesting class by Sayandeep sir. He covered all the portions like NCF 2005, RTE Act, NEP 2020. NEP is focused on experiential type of learning which gives about all the 21st century life skills which is essential for critical thinking and problem solving. Yet IIEI is based on experiential learning with zero investment and full of enthusiasm and joyful. Though the education is hampered by COVID for physical classes, 
but all the new online method of teaching is introduced in such pandemic situation in class the teaching process can be continued even in such pandemic situation in innovative part shala we bring the innovative ideas for the particular content it is a class in which the classroom teaching is connected to the outer world it is for the holistic development of the child which is based on experiential learning and immediate environment the idea discussed in class for innovative partial was about concept mapping or model mapping for primary to secondary level our instructor he took the example of topic like preservation of food items like mangoes all round the year the model used were bloom taxonomy in which all sets of essential skills for the holistic development of a child as remember understand apply analyze evaluate create instead of inquiry based learning direct instructions were given after attending the jet iiei and innovative partshara classes by saimdeep sir even i am trying to make my class interesting with activity based learning and teaching through visual pictures videos and games not now the children can enjoy the classes without burden the family tree was to make for which we had to contact to the parents of the students and convince them about the family as as we all know the involvement of parents is more important in teaching learning process the students parents got involved in the activity with full of interest now why my school should be role model school i feel my school should be role model as that will be a great achievement for our school we shall be highly grateful and fortunate enough if chosen as role model school lastly i would like to give thanks to central education minister jet iiei and hdfc bank state education minister our resource person saimdeep sir and deputy director sir north sikkim who gave us such wonderful platform to learn as we all know learning is a continuous process even in such pandemic situation dhanyawad thank you